Hey there, I'm Rick Hines, the AMP guy at Fender. I'm Stan Cody, I'm a designer at Fender. And we're here to talk about the new level set buffer pedal from Fender. Fender's real foray into the pedal line with a brand new, all designed at Fender pedal. The level set buffer is a thing that's been in my life as a player for five or six years now. Um, and what it really does is it's kind of a way to adjust levels and tones from guitar changes. So if you're like me and you go through lots of guitar changes, maybe guitars that have like low output vintage single coil kinds of tones, and maybe you switch to something with humbuckers, there's a pretty big disparity with what happens tone wise. And sometimes like the balance between clean sounds and dirty sounds gets off. So like a clean sound will be way too loud for a humbucker guitar, but not loud enough for a single coil guitar. And the typical way to solve that is to like reach around your pedals really quick and turn the drive levels and go to your amp and change drive levels between the channels. Um, and so I got thinking about that and just thought about a way to have a one-stop shop of a place to be able to go and adjust that. So what the level set buffer does is three different things. It's a buffer, so it sets up the rest of your levels and pedals really well. It's got a mute switch and a separate tuner output, so you can have your tuner on the whole time. You can tune while you're playing. And it's not actually in your signal path, so it doesn't disturb the signal. Um, and then it has these controls at the top where there's a uh, level control, there's a high frequency control, and there's a load switch. And so what that's about, the level control and the high frequency control both have plus and minus 12 dB of range. Um, the level control is completely flat, just brings the whole volume level up or down. So if you have like a really loud humbucker guitar, you can kind of turn it down. Um, if you have a quiet single coil, you can kind of bring it up a little bit to match. And the high frequency control isn't so much like a treble control, it really kind of adjusts like the sparkle or the amount of sheen that's there. So sometimes, you know, if you have pickups that sound a little shrill through a rig or humbuckers that might be a little dark and you want to add a little sparkle, it's kind of for that. The load switch applies a capacitive load that's very similar to the same kind of capacitance your guitar would see plugging into the front end of a tube amp. So it just makes your pickups kind of load and respond a little bit better. Yeah, it's funny, when, when we thought about doing this and you, you kind of came to, to me to talk about this, I was like, well, you know, I've never really used a buffer before. I'm not really sure, you know, it's, I think it's one of those things for guitarists that it's kind of a mysterious what you would use that for. And then the definition of that, I mean, it makes total sense. If I'm switching between my Strat and then something with humbuckers to balance that out, I feel like that's a, that's a really nice thing. Yeah, and it's not trying to make your Strat sound like a humbucker or vice versa. It's just trying to make them play nicer together. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you want to have the dynamic nature of, of when you play so that you're not, you know, quieter in the mix when you're playing live. I mean, that's really what this is about. So this is really a player-centric thing, and we wanted it to um, have some, some pro aspects to it. So we put a couple of convenience features on it. Um, one is there's this really cool magnetically latched battery door on the front of it. So battery changes are super easy. Um, we hated the idea that you had to unscrew and take a pedal apart to get to the battery. So this lets you do it in seconds. Um, you might notice the knobs up here have these cool light pipes and LEDs that kind of shine through. So even if the stage lights are completely black, you can see where the knobs are set to. So you go, oh yeah, that's my setting for my Strat. Um, and that can be switched off. There's a switch to be able to turn those off if you don't want to have the distraction. The last thing we did was we set the jacks up so that they're offset. So the input jack and output jack aren't on the same line. So that way you can kind of space your pedals a little more closely together. So that's the level set buffer pedal. Stay tuned here for more videos. Mm -hmm.